Hey there guys, it's Rick Hutzi here with Ergon Web and Ergon Web TV, and today we're going to jump into episode four of this year's series of Going Ballistics. Today we're going to be taking a look at something that just steps up lethality. That's what Predator International does. They just make awesomely, awesomely good killing pellets, and the Hades 25 is no exception. Before we jump into that though, let's talk about what we got going on here at the table. If you want to have some fun shooting ballistics gel, clear ballistics, they're the place you want to go to do it. Their gel is super clear, super fun to shoot. And if you are inclined to do so, you can actually break it down, melt it down and recast it and reuse it. If you're into that, pretty awesome stuff. We've got the JSTAR Raptor. We're using this because we can shoot every caliber in this series out of one platform. The adjustability, can really just, you can spend a lot of time tweaking, fiddling, getting everything just the way you want. I love that about this gun. It's been a blast to shoot. And of course, we've got the AT and Optic because I love the fact that I have the one shot zero. I can move from one pellet to another pellet and all kinds of different things very, very quickly and not have to spend a bunch of time sighting in my scope. It makes all of that super easy. But really, all of that is sort of very, very secondary to why we're really here and that's to talk about Predator International pellets. Today, we're taking a look at the Hades and 25 caliber. So, in 25 caliber, these guys are pushing 1,040 feet per second on like pretty much the lowest power setting on the gun. That is crushing. So, foot pounds, what are we talking about? Almost 64 foot pounds in 25 caliber, and we're essentially just getting started with these. So, what does that do in the gel? Well. I love the Hades pellets. These guys, they actually come in at 26.5 grains. So they're a little bit heavier than say the 25.4, so just a teeny bit heavier. But man, you can see what they do. They are devastating into the gel. They have this sort of like nuclear warning symbol head on them. And when they hit, they kind of expand and create almost like knife blades. So when you're hunting small game, that's got to be just devastating. I would have no issues even taking this up and doing some predator hunting on coyotes, badgers, uh, groundhogs, all of that kind of stuff that's a little bit bigger than, you know, a little bit bigger game than you'd want to use like maybe something smaller on. Gosh, these things are going to be devastating. And again, let's go back to the gel because what you see is you see this initial impact and you see this massive wound channel. You just see it dump so much energy in a very short span. So if we're looking at the gel here, it kind of snuck into that second block a little bit, but take a look at just the slow motion of that pellet slamming into this block and imagine what that's gonna do to small game when you go out hunting. The Hades is awesome, whether 22 or 25, it just is a great hunting pellet. Very accurate, gives you the same basic sort of profile as far as trajectory and performance that you're gonna get out of traditional domed pellet. And of course you have that accuracy too. And that's what makes the Hades just so lethal. Guys, that's gonna be it for now. I wanna say thank you to all of our sponsors. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.